Dr. Blake Staker here with Westside Medical. Today we're going to talk about the pH of your disc. Now it sounds kind of weird talking about the pH of a disc, but it's actually vitally important to the health of your disc. So what happens is you have cells in the middle of your disc and they make molecules that help hold water. But it's very important that they, they maintain a certain pH range because if they fall out of that range, they, start making that they stop making that molecule and you lose hydration in your disc. So let's zoom in here on the disc. So the disc is made of two parts. You have an outer fibrous part called the annulus fibrosus. And you have a middle uh, jelly part here that holds the water called the nucleus pulposus. Now these are fancy anatomical terms. Um, we'll just refer to this as the outer fibrous area and this is like the middle jelly part. And so in your disc, right through here you have cells that make a molecule that helps this disc hold on to water. It keeps your disc hydrated and it maintains your disc space. Now in this disc here, you don't, there's, there's no blood flow to it, so it, it relies on diffusion to receive its oxygen and nutrients. And the best way to get this oxygen and nutrients into this middle disc is through compression and the relaxation of tissues. So you have this compression and relaxation of tissues, it brings in like glucose and oxygen, and it allows these cells to make the, the molecule that helps hold the water. Now the technical term for it is called a proteoglycan. Uh, it's made of protein and sugars and it attracts the water. So pretty much it's a, it's a molecule that has affinity toward water. And the more proteoglycans the more, or the more that molecule you have, the better hydrated this disc is going to be and the healthier it's going to be. So in my clinic we see a lot of patients that have low back pain where they have a, a sedentary lifestyle where they sit all day. Um, and what that does is when you're sitting all day, you have this compression of the tissues but you don't have any, there's no fluid turnover, and so this disc here becomes acidic because it's not getting the oxygen, so it's making more lactic acid. It's similar to when you're working out and the last couple reps you really feel that burn, it's because you're bypassing your body's ability to process the oxygen, you're making the lactic acid. And so when you don't get oxygen here, you make that lactic acid, and it's going to drop your pH, so it makes your disc more acidic than it's supposed to be. And then these cells, they stop making the proteoglycans. They stop making the material that holds the, the, the water so it doesn't stay as hydrated. And so what happens is when it stops making these cells, you get less hydration, and then you get some bulging here on this outer fibrous part, and that's where you can, you can get some of those disc injuries or disc tears that, that occur you know, later on in life. Um, there's different studies that where they've done uh, MRIs on people, and they kind of separated MRIs based on the person's activity level, and they found that people that that um, participate in some kind of exercise activity, the disc look a lot better than the people that have like a sedentary lifestyle. So that means is when you when you when you're being active, you have compression and relaxation of these tissues. And what that does is that increases oxygen nutrients into this disc, and these discs here, uh, this middle part is going to make that proteoglycan to hold on to that water. And so in my office here, our exercise of choice is a reverse hyper to increase oxygen nutrients into the disc. And the reason why is we're able to load the spine with this reverse hyper without compressing it too much where it could lead to like a, some kind of a disc injury. So with this here, when you go through the motions, it's, it's really nice because it cycles the, the loading and loading of the spine and that's going to pump the oxygen and, and nutrients into the nucleus pulposus. So pretty much this here aids in the diffusion of fluid into the disc so your disc can make those molecules to keep the hydration. And so let me demonstrate the technique right here. So you have the patients hop up here on the pad. Bring my pen. Keep the lats tight, abs tight. Just have them go through this range of motion here. And that's going to help to cycle the oxygen and nutrients into that disc to keep it hydrated as well as maintain the pH. And so we have the uh, patients do about three to four sets of 10, and uh, that's how you maintain the pH in your disc to keep it healthy.